Today's victim, we got a 1999 Chevy Silverado, allegedly starts and dies. Let's find out. Sure does. This is a classic pass lock security system fault. It will start and die. Watch, I bet it's gonna start flashing. Security light is flashing. Okay, so next step we would check codes and then what I would do is check the pass lock sensor data. So let's check codes first. This truck is too old to check all the codes all at the same time. So we're gonna have to just check. All I wanna check is the ECM or the PCM and the BCM. P1631, that's a classic anti-theft code. So let's go back to the body control module and see what kind of codes we have. Where are you? All the way back here. Body. Check current codes. We got no codes current. How about a history code? Security system sensor data incorrect but valid. B2960. Classic pass lock sensor fault code. Let's go to data. Security data. Uh, so what I like to see here is pass lock data voltage. Uh, when we go key off, it should go to 5 volts. Yep, sure does. So when I go to key on and attempt to start, and if that pass lock voltage drops it means that the pass lock sensor itself is working notice pass lock state is tampered so what happened is that the pass lock system saw an incorrect code so what i didn't mention is that i happen to know that the customer has for some reason replaced this steering column so if that's true they also replaced the ignition lock cylinder and lock cylinder housing, which contains the pass lock sensor. So if that is true, I may be able to get away with just doing a 10 minute or a 30 minute pass lock learn. How do we do that? Well, I'm gonna open the door and enter a new key cycle. We're gonna attempt to start and then leave the key on. I'm gonna leave the key on with the theft light flashing for 10 minutes. And then when the theft light stops flashing, I'm going to try it again. And I may have to do that two or three more times to relearn the path lock system manually without connecting to a computer and programming. So let's try that first and see what happens. Okay, so again, I'm gonna start it, let it die, and then I'm gonna leave the key on. I do have a battery, connect, uh, battery tender connected also. So here we are at the end of the first 10 minute learn process. Notice the security light is no longer flashing. It is now solid. I'm gonna now shut the key off. Give it a second. Attempt it again. And then leave the key on again. We might have to repeat this another, maybe another. This is the end of the second 10 minute timer. Let's do it one more time and see if it will successfully learn. And here's the end of 10 minute attempt number three. Gonna shut the key off, gonna open the door and enter a new key cycle. I'm gonna see what it does. Hey, look at that. Starts and runs now. Well, that was an easy fix. So this is after the pass lock system has been relearned. That's what you should see. This is normal data. That was me shutting the engine off, by the way. So don't worry about that. Yeah, it looks like all we had to do was the 30 minute version of the pass lock system learn. I probably could have done it in the first attempt with a 10 minute learn via SPS programming, but I wanted to show you guys this method. Have a good one.